Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. I'm your host, Tomas Salas, and in this video, I'm excited to share with you some of my favorite everyday carry gear combos. Whether you're just new to everyday carry and figuring out what the heck it all means, or you're a seasoned professional with a ton of gear and looking for more options, this video is to help you out and give you some new ideas as to what you should stuff your pockets with. By the end of this video, it is my hope that you'll increase some of your preparedness, have some good idea of what to carry if you're traveling, going on an outdoor adventure, or responding to an emergency. Before we get started, a big thank you for clicking on this video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so that we won't miss future videos helping you upgrade your gear. With that being said, let's cut into it. starting off we have the things that started it all i was recently on a travel adventure and i needed a couple of things that i could bring with me through tsa and i decided on these what i really enjoy about olight gear is that they offer great quality but yet they're still at the price point where it's dare i say disposable meaning that if you lose it break it or damage it while you're out on the go you're not going to be out a whole bunch of money like relatively 20 to 30 bucks for some of the items that we're talking about for me one of the most important pieces of any everyday carry is a flashlight and this new i3t EOS in the bronze and teal colorway is gorgeous and pumps out 180 lumens on a single AAA battery. You have a low and a high, a reversible pocket clip so you can slap it onto the brim of a hat and use it for any medical emergencies or just simply an impromptu headlamp. What makes this great for a minimalistic, lightweight, or travel everyday carry setup is that the AAA batteries are found everywhere. So you're not going to have a hard time putting fresh life into this light. That i3T EOS is fantastic, but if you wanted something with a little more oomph, the Warrior Mini 3 will have you covered with 1500 lumens. It's still compact enough on an 18650 rechargeable battery. The pocket clip is pretty good and it has a ton of different user interface modes that you can cycle through so you're not blinding the crap out of yourself looking for a map. I like this because it gives you a little bit more of a fistful light. It's still relatively compact compared to other tactical flashlights and gives you a lot of utility factor. And sticking on this theme of ultra lightweight gear, the new Open Mini is fantastic. It weighs literally nothing. It's skeletonized, right smooth, and I love traveling with a pen so you can take down notes or numbers, especially if your phone dies, you can still record important information or better yet, leave a note telling someone where you're going. Having a cutting tool on you is important no matter where you go, but while traveling, that can be really challenging. But this is where the Oracle Pro TI comes in really handy. What I really enjoy about this multi-tool is the functional bottle opener. It does have a little bit of a pry bar, screwdriver, scraper, which is kind of nice. Deep carry pocket clip. It comes with the leather pouch, so you don't have to worry about losing it or scratching up any of your gear. But best of all, it also has a lock on here, preventing the blade from coming forward. And if you are traveling through secure areas, you can throw out that blade and upon arrival of your destination, throw in a new one and you're good to go. This thing is so functional. I mean, after all, it is a utility blade, but it comes out in different levels so you don't over perforate anything. It comes in really handy for any of those pesky blister packages and just having a small utility blade on you. But what I really enjoy is that if you're left-handed, this thing is so easy to use. It's honestly even more comfortable than right-handed, of course still use it with your right hand but in a lefty grip the thing just slides in and out so i carry this usually everywhere and then you're not ruining any of your other higher end cutlery tools the titanium version is the premium option for around 50 dollars, but you can find the original version with like g10 for around 20 to 30 bucks if you do want to save some money on Olight, I'll put a link down below and use discount code TACTAB to save 10% off your order. Maybe your adventure calls for something a little bit more outdoor friendly, and this next EDC setup will have you covered. Anytime I venture into the outdoors, I like to have a quality piece of cutlery, if not two or more, but let's say you can only have one for this scenario, I would recommend the Topps MSFG folder. It has an extremely versatile Bowie style blade shape that's comfortable for all sorts of utility cutting work. Paired with that neutral and comfortable handle, you can use it for literally anything, from processing wood, skinning game, and getting a fire going, to simply just cutting off rope. I like the high performance Super Steel LMAX, so it's not gonna rust or corrode when hiking around, and the deep carry pocket clip is also gonna prevent it from sliding out of your pockets, unbeknownst to you. For a flashlight, I want something with a long battery that's also gonna be easy to recharge while out in the field, and that is why my pick is gonna be the Phoenix E35R. This sports a 21700 battery with an output of 3,100 lumens. It's single switch operation, which means it's not gonna accidentally turn on and burn a hole in your ultra lightweight pants, and it is very, very durable. The milling texture work on the body of this flashlight ensures it's gonna stay in your hand in any sort of adverse conditions. It's also IPX waterproof rated, so it's not gonna burn out really easily, and you can use it in dusty environments or wet, cold, 
and crummy areas. I also enjoy that this has a lockout mode. So if you wanted to drop this into your backpack, you don't have to worry about it accidentally turning on. It also has an SOS feature. And I really enjoy that that illuminator tells you your battery life. And this thing is ultra dang bright. I also like that if you're using this in a camping setting, it has a flat back so you can slap it down onto a table or your tent site and illuminate a larger area. For any outdoor adventure, having a way to start a fire is crucial. A lot of people will go with a BIC, but you can simply take that mini BIC lighter that's super lightweight and increase its survival capabilities by throwing on a little duct tape around there. The problem I have with BICs is that if you accidentally press down on there, you can run through all your gas. So a lot of people will put like a zip tie through there, but still they can easily break and they're susceptible to water damage. My preferred method is a fair rod. In this case, we have a double feature and highly versatile rod. This is the Shomer Tech Fire Stick. This fuses together magnesium and a ferrocium rod, so you get the best of both worlds. And it also comes with a ceramic striker. I really like the striker because you can actually use this to resharpen a blade or a fish hook, and of course, scrape your ferrocium. You can use this striker for scraping off the magnesium to help accelerate any tinder that may be wet or damp. Flip that around and use it to fire off some ferrocium sparks. I really think ferrocium rods are fantastic because they're not gonna melt, they're not gonna crack if you take a tumble, and they're not susceptible to water damage. Simply dry it off, give it a strike, and you got sparks. The next EDC combo is for those looking for something a little bit more heavy duty, first responders, personal protection, that sort of theme. I'll stand on this hill that I think a flashlight is probably the most important everyday carry essential. And for this, you want something heavy duty that's gonna pack a punch. In this case, we have the Nightcore P23i. I've also recently got my hands on the Nightcore MH12 Pro, and let me tell you, this thing rocks. So if you wanted something just a little bit more streamlined with similar capabilities, that is certainly a great option. What I love about these Nightcores is that it focuses 3000 candela into a highly tight hotspot, which is gonna burn through any photonic barriers such as window tint or fog. And it's gonna focus all that light and candela into the opponent's eyes and allow you to see further too. This also has that crenulated bezel for any of your repeat activities. It also has some glass breaking carbides on there for emergency rescues. I like that the backside has a versatile tail switch. And with that MH12 Pro, you have a couple different ways that you can go into different modes, making it extremely versatile, long lasting, and easily rechargeable. Having a heavy duty folder is gonna come in handy, especially because it's quick, accessible, and easy to carry. I really like the SOG Trident ATXR, especially because we're talking about something being used for emergency response. This features a D2 tool steel blade that's cryogenically heat treated. You can go with the Tonto or the Bowie blade shape. It also has a built-in carbide glass breaker. It has a seatbelt cutter or safety cutter if you wanted to use it for rope and cordage without having to deploy the blade and use it around near someone's neck. It's a sturdy blade, but it's also pretty budget friendly considering some of the other rescue blades out there go for $200 plus. I'm looking at Benchmade. This comes in at around 99 bucks. The SOG offers a ton of versatility as well as heavy duty capabilities. You're not gonna be shy beating this thing around. Because this blade is spring assisted, it comes out super fast. It also has a lock on here, which is kind of like a bonus feature to prevent it from firing off inside of your pants. Redundancy is key. And I think every single one of these tools has some sort of glass breaker function. A pen that I would recommend would be the Nightcore NTP31. I love this because it has that carbide glass breaker, but also a really smooth writing implement. It's also like 20 or 30 bucks. So it's not gonna be super expensive and has a really tight pocket clip. So if you're wearing this in any sort of pouch or pocket or vest, you don't have to worry about it sliding out. For any emergency response, having a high-end fixed blade is gonna come in handy, not only for personal protection, but also just strength and durability. And that is why the TKL Night Stalker CG is my recommendation. I like the CG version and that CG stands for combat grade. So it's even thicker than the normal versions. The sports 80 CRV2 that's been differentially heat treated and tempered from TKL. He knows what he's doing. This blade's ultra tough. It also sports some G10 handle scales, and you'll notice that ring on the back. This is great for quickly accessing your blade, keeping it under retention, especially if you needed to transition to any other functional tools. Carrying it around is a Kydex sheath, and I threw on here a 1.75 inch discrete carry concept clip. Hopefully this video inspired you to check out a few different gadgets and gear for your everyday carry, whether you're on a lightweight travel mission, an outdoor adventure, or an emergency response type setting. These should give you a couple of different things to help you upgrade your preparedness. Do me a favor and let me know which was your favorite set in the comment section down below. And is this a series that you think we should bring back in the future? If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like, share it with a friend and subscribe, as well as check out the links down below because there's multiple discount codes and special links that'll help you save money. Also make sure to follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern. With that being said, my name is Tomas Alas. Thank you for watching. I'm excited to see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.